boy, the Smoky Mountains was a difficult one. I'm glad you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But now we're on our way to one of the most beautiful areas in the beginning of the Appalachian Trail, and that place is Hot Springs. And we're gonna find Max Patch along the way. This is gonna be good. I'm Teardrop, let's go. This is Teardrop, and welcome to New to the Wild. Good morning, YouTube. Well, we're about to make the final push in the standing bear. Get ourselves a beer and something to eat. Uh, anyway, good morning to everybody. Now, I've been uploading videos, as you guys know, and uh, recently I had a video at Sam Gap that is, it seems to me that a lot of you guys didn't like. So let me remind each and every one of you. I didn't A, invite you here. B, I don't even want you to be here. See, I can give a fuck less about YouTube money. Because to be honest, I'm making money everywhere else. So, let me make this clear before you put your fat little stubby fingers onto your fucking keyboard and click on new to the wild video. I don't give a fuck whether you're here or not. At all. So you're wasting your time to watch my videos every single time and thumbs down them or comment. A, I approve my comments so your comments never see the light of day. B, you're just wasting your time. You look stupid as fuck. I don't watch CNN and MSNBC because I'm not a stupid fucking liberal. Therefore, I have no reason to write them, thumbs down their shit, no nothing. I just don't watch them. End of story. So, let me just make that shit clear. And for those of you that down the thumbs down my simp comments, it's probably because you're a simp. You're probably one of them motherfuckers right now working while your wife's banging them a goddamn cable guy. It's the truth. Anyway, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this day started. Y'all got me ready to fucking go. I just hiked 17 miles yesterday. I'm ready to whoop all y'all's asses right now. I'm out of here. Coming down YouTube into I-40 here. About to head our way over to Standing Bear. Beautiful water here. Let's see how the map. God, I hate steps. <sighs> Just got up that big ass fucking treacherous mountain to Green River, I mean to Green River Road. Going up towards Standing Bear. Tired of shit walking towards Standing, in <laughs> standing Bear. Look at that. Look at them accommodations. What are your thoughts? Oh man. I think I'm shitting outside and washing in this creek. <laughs> <laughs> Looking off the porch, seeing our little water source. But, uh, got our front porch here, which was drying things. And then inside the cabin, nothing spectacular. But, we do got full size beds, me and KB. We'll send, uh, Iceberg up there to, uh, next day we'll be back shortly. There's room for one more, so we're kind of hoping nobody else comes in here wanting this, but KB resupply. Uh, I got my box, of course. So my shit's just laying on the bed and chilling. Anyway, there's not a whole lot to see here. I mean, this spectacular place down there is where the hikers hang. And then right there is the bunkhouse. Right there is where the Wi-Fi pretty much is. Uh, they got a nice little store. They go by an honor system, which is really cool. Uh, maybe I'll show you the store later on. You can get beers, you can get all kinds of cheese. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, we are officially leaving Standing Bear. Standing Bear is actually a great place. A lot of negative reviews go into this place. Well, I'll discuss the whole place later in full, but let me say this. Standing Bear is actually pretty legit. Uh, very discreet. Very, uh... They leave you the fuck alone. They're very accommodating. Yeah, I'm sure there's some amenities that a lot of you whiny types would wish was better. But uh, everything's pretty good. The food, of course. You know, the rumors about that and what people say about the food is legit. There's some shit that's expired and some that's not. You gotta pick and choose that shit. But it's not bad. Oh no. Anyway. Making our way to Max Patch today. I'm not a happy hiker today. I hate the whole goddamn community today. 
You'll probably hear about it later. Sometimes you just gotta stop on the side of the road and drink a beer. Sometimes it's the way it goes. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Alright. I'm gonna respond to the motherfucker's comment that I did not approve. His words was, go back to the ghetto. <sighs> hey, hope you don't think you're being original. B, let's, let's, let's touch on that for a second. I believe it was video two, four years ago. I made it very clear to everyone what my purpose was. My purpose is to come into your, your world and excel. Knowing goddamn well, hold on, knowing goddamn well, excuse me, that you couldn't come into mine and excel. Take my ass back to the ghetto. Let me explain something to you. You're the broke one, not me. I don't have to go back. But, listen, let me make something very clear, as I did four years ago. I'm coming into your world and excelling. You take one step on 50 50 and Loomis in Chicago, past one dice game, I bet you don't make it out alive. So you want to sit here and tell me, motherfucker? Let me make this very clear to you. My entire mission from day one was to prove to so many of you motherfucking lames I could come in your world, not just excel, but have become a celebrity. Motherfuckers been asking me for my picture. It's no different than when I was in the hood. It's no different than when I entered MMA. You, however, nobody knows who you are. You don't even have hiking videos. You're not even known in your own community. Why well, come in your community and take the fuck over? So let's get this shit straight. I'm gonna come into your fucking neighborhood. And I still talk shit. And still no one's out here doing a motherfucking thing. No one. Go back to the ghetto. At least I can go there. Without fucking getting robbed and killed. Cause I bet you couldn't. Not that your punk broke ass has anything anybody wants to rob to begin with. But I bet you couldn't. Whereas I can. And I can come in your hood. And talk shit. And walk through your forest. And nobody does shit about it. And never will. Never fucking will. Bitch ass motherfucker. All some of you sorry motherfuckers can do is thumbs down videos. And troll on the internet. Because you know... If you bring your punk ass out here, I'm going to hand it to you. You know it. And I bet you some of you has already been out here, but you act like you're my fans instead of my haters. Why is that? Why? So as I said, five months from now, when I summon Katahdin, it is about the accomplishment. It's about coming into your fucking hood and doing something you couldn't come in my hood and do. So let's get that shit straight. Let's get that shit straight. Don't you ever think that I came out here to be part of this community. Don't you ever think that I came out here to be one of you. Because I'm not. Not only do I not have to be, but I'm better than you in every form of life. KV asked me today. Because I said I'm tired of you, these liberal motherfuckers. And he, had, he kind of threw it out there. He said, you think you're better than them? I said, yes. Here's the truth. Yes, I am. Yes. I'm more successful. I have more money. I get more pussy. I, I'm even hiking more miles. Than you, in your own world. So yes. Yes. I think I'm better. If you don't, if you don't agree, then take me off my motherfucking throne. But until then, the king motherfucking stands alone. Period. Oh, yeah. And that's got to suck. For some of you people that's been hiking this motherfucker for 30 years, still ain't got a through hike in you, and I'm about to. Fresh out the motherfucking hood. It's got to suck that I come in your own backyard. And I'm, I'm, I'm just as recognizable as anyone. While no one knows who the fuck you are. You tired of that shit yet? That's why you're mad. Let's be honest. Bitch. Oh. And by the way, to some of you liberals. I find it hilarious, man. How you tree hugging sacks of shit. Get out here in your little goddamn groups around a fire. And bash conservatives. And bash Trump. And bash people that are successful in life. 
All because all the best you could ever do is grab you three grand and come out on the fucking trail. You motherfuckers. Quit, quit bashing conservatives from your fucking safe space. Because as soon as I say something, y'all shut the fuck up. So why don't you actually come to where we're at and bash people? Why don't you bash conservatives from that vantage point? You fucking sacks of shit. You sit back and you bash people that are successful in life while y'all sit here and dig through hiker boxes like little fucking slimy fucking sacks of shit. Fucking loser, scumbag piece of... Oh, god damn. Oh, if you're such a sorry sack of shit, you have to dig through hiker boxes to get yourself a meal, get off the trail and get a job. Get off the trail and get a job. Go fuck a bitch with money. Go do something. Yeah. It's hot than a motherfucker out here. And yes, I do this simply for the accomplishment. Simply to, so I can say I told you so. I don't like hiking. I don't like this shit. I'm not a wilderness guy. I don't give a fuck about these trees. I don't give a fuck about anything. But money. And pussy. Period. So, no. This isn't some liberal fucking beautiful community for me. It's not. It's a bunch of broke bums walking around begging people for shit and bottom feeding off of everybody. Notice I don't do that. So, no. For you people to say, well, you're out there for the wrong reasons. You goddamn right I am. I'm out here to show you simply that I can do it. I don't like this shit. I think this shit's an overexertion of energy and time, and it's for no fucking reason. Period. The views are beautiful, but this shit is pointless, really. All you motherfuckers saying, I'm going to put it on my job application. Bitch, you will let me be hiring and you come through and say, I live like a fucking hippie in the woods for six months. And see if I fucking hire you. You guys are out your fucking minds. I wouldn't hire you because you said I, I lived like a fucking bum for six months. I was a foul, stinky, smelly motherfucker for six months. No. I wouldn't hire you at all for that. Oh. And one more word to all you kumbaya singing sorry sacks of shit. Listen. I'm hearing all you liberals mad at Donald Trump for bombing at Syria. Let me make something clear, you dumb fucks that don't even follow politics but feel you need to put your fucking input in. Well, remember Obama's red line? If Assad does this, here's the red line and I'm going to bomb the shit out of him. Well, Assad did it when Obama was president. And Obama was a pussy. Period. He said, well, if they do it again, then I'll do it. Then Assad did it again. And Obama still didn't do shit. Trump came in and he did it one time. We saw dead babies on the fucking news. And Trump said, fuck you bitches. Like a fucking commander in chief should. My question to you sorry motherfuckers is why wasn't you talking shit when Obama was talking about bombing him? Why? Because he pushed out? Food for thought. Bitches. Oh, and let's talk, talk health care to all you sorry motherfuckers. They're sitting out here saying Obama's going to take our health care. I mean, Trump's going to take our health care. Bitch, no one stopped you from buying health care. Oh, you're mad you have to pay for it. A service that you receive from another motherfucker that also receives a paycheck. That's what you're mad for? A, Trump's not taking your motherfucker shit. But, you motherfuckers are too stupid to see Obamacare was more expensive than fucking Medicaid anyway. But, it is what it is. But all you motherfuckers whining, Trump's going to take away our freebies. How are we going to hike the trail next year if he takes away our freebies? You food stamp trail hiking sons of bitches. Get a job. Now kumbaya that shit, bitch. Hey, what's up, you two? Still making my way up Snow Peak Mountain. It's been a bitch. This climb out of Standing Bear is not an easy one. Been long and dragging. There they come back there. Trail's looking beautiful though, man. Sun keeps fucking with us, but trail itself looks pretty good. Okay, come up Snowbird, Snow Peak. I believe this is the FAA Tower. 
Get him, Dova. All right. Hello, YouTube. I'm on the top of Snow Peak. There's a tower. Not very good views today because it's kind of foggy out there in the, in the mountains. But uh, let's go ahead and look around this thing. Ah, oh, shit. What's that, some chicken? Motherfuckers had some chicken. Ain't that a bitch. That was a hell of a view. In terms of what's... Alright, the hiker hunger savagery has officially begun. See them Bojangles boxes? They still have the receipts taped to the boxes. They were unopened. Somebody obviously dropped them off the car or some shit. And, and the receipt said yesterday. But you know what we did? You know what you know what we did. Damn right. Alright. Heading out from the tower. Beautiful views, of course. Well, they're kind of obstructed a little bit. The hell's out of there, that trail? Anyways. Beautiful area, of course. Now it's time to head on down. So, we're moving forward towards Max Patch. Beautiful area. KB's back there doing his thing. I just got rattled at, I think, by a rattlesnake here in the damn brush. Uh, let's keep pushing forward. Hello, YouTube. Well, we decided to stop for the day here at Deer... Deer... Is it Deer Gap? Deep, deep Gap. Deep, yeah. yeah, Deep Gap. The gap is deep. It has been successfully penetrated, though. So we're going to camp right here, enjoy ourselves. Man, my shit's getting wrong. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Anyway... Not, not the biggest mileage day, but if any of you that's ever done that up out of standing bear, I need no more, no further explanation. Anyway, we don't do the shelter thing really unless we have to, so we don't have to. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. We are sitting at Deep Gap. We're going to be getting our day started. Sometimes, sometimes, soon. And, uh, get to see Max Patch today. Probably going past Max Patch, obviously. Uh... That's all I got right now. <laughs> We're making our way up Max Patch, well, towards Max Patch. Uh, got quite a few feet to go. I'll show y'all that when we get there. Not a whole lot of shit to, to get footage of. We so came down right here before we're going up Max Patch, and we got some trail magic sitting right here. Got some burritos and some pancakes. Definitely thank you to these people. Very much so. And <sighs> Max Patch. Three and a half miles there, as you can see. Hey, what's up, you two? Just on my way to Max Patch here. We took it a little bit longer today on purpose because we want to be here for the sunset. And then we're going to do some night hiking. Not quite there yet, I don't think. Kind of doing this little roller coaster shit before Max Patch. I'm up here though. It should be any time, actually. But, beautiful day today. You see the trail. Of course, like most days, the only time there's any stress is when there's some dumb shit at home going on. Well, it's time to... Oh, fuck. I got a little bit of waste. Getting there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going up Max Patch right now to the summit. This is my view as I'm coming up. Oh, motherfucker. Look at this shit. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. See the trail? Goes all the way up there. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, this shit, man. Hey, what's up, YouTube? another view. Dover. Man, as you can see, man, it's in, I think we're going to camp here. Try to get it better when the sun's not going as much. I think I'm going to camp right here. I think I'm definitely going to camp right here. So, that's the way it goes. Looks good, don't it? Walking up Max Patch, me and uh, Iceberg over there, going the wrong damn way. Oh yeah, never mind. Max Patch is fucking beautiful, y'all. Hopefully you guys can see some of that. Essentially at the top of Max Patch. I'm gonna go find some place to possibly set up camp. Don't know exactly what we're doing yet. Beautiful area. We're waiting on KB to get up here. KB was a little behind. Not sure where he's gonna pop up. Pop up at. Hey, Dover. Hey, buddy. This is Max Patch, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Max Patch looks like. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, as you guys can see, we're coming down Max Patch. It looks beautiful. Love this area. Considering camping up here, but probably won't. Found a hiker. What's your name, sir? Charlie. Charlie. Is that your trail name or real name? That's my trail name, Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels. How are we going, Charlie Daniels? To Georgia, where the devil is. Oh, okay. There's a shooting star directly behind you. What do you got to say about that? <laughs> yeah, this would be a good place. But... Oh man, this shit is beautiful, man. 
I wish the whole goddamn trail was like this. Not really a big fan of in the woods, so to speak. <laughs> he said, well, you picked the wrong fucking trail. <laughs> this is a practice trail. To get me ready for the real shit. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is where I'm camping. Let me show you. That's Max Patch. This is my view that I'll be waking up to in the morning when the sun rises. Ain't that the most amazing shit? No, I don't want to be up on Max Patch. There's the white blaze. Too many people up there, you can't poop in private. We've already found our pooper. That little trail leading back there. That's right. But anyway, back to the beauty. The shit like this that makes you just say, God damn, I can't believe I'm doing this with my life, man. This is amazing shit. It's amazing shit. There's KVO there setting up his shit. Doing his thing. All right. Well, see you guys in a little bit. Bye, bitches.